all right welcome back and this video is about lord's mobile bot software so again we're going to go right into the account right here and we're going to look at the second tab which is settings uh, this settings basically gives you all the settings within so the top of these these top buttons or menus they're what the current status is for your account so if you look at the guild this is what's going to be on here it basically tells you what uh, rank you are what kingdom you're in how many members you got and then next one tells you or you can actually do the chat as well so I can type in hello and this is the chat now it doesn't have a uh, translation so any foreign language that comes up you will not be able to see it uh, you also have option to create uh, guild here or I can leave guild or search for guild and uh, join the guild if I was R4 I could actually go into guild management which I will show that later as well um, next tab over is going to be resources it's going to show you how much food you have in your castle open and then there's also going to show how much you have in the bag so again this is current status um, of your it's not the settings it's basically what you have in your castle right now um, now one thing about this though this is how you would actually use these tabs to supply or migrate but these will be separate short videos that I'll be putting out um, and then you can also see inventory where you see unique items that you have resources speed ups combat chest equipment familiar and material you can also do uh, what's in your bag you can also shop with your gems or guild coins uh, you can also do purchase diamonds through this so instead of let's say for example if you want to buy winning star or new adventure walking on sunshine 99 cents it's 99 diamonds basically you can purchase the diamonds by clicking on that and oh it's actually on sale right now so you can get 30 percent bonus hmm but yeah you can buy these and be able to purchase your um, whatever packs through that but yeah I guess they do have 30% that's nice and you can purchase through PayPal Amazon you money and whatever else that's available I per myself use uh, PayPal and I load these up if I need to if especially if it's an account that I'm gonna use as a bank I'm gonna actually need some shields and everything so I do that as well so again by clicking on purchase diamonds it'll show up right here on the diamonds how many diamonds you got and you can go to next thing is gifting it's not unlocked so you won't be able to do it bargain store it's not a bargain store event yet but at that time you can do it that way next tab over we're going to say heroes this is what I have right now and that's again these top tabs are just current state of your castle so I have two heroes open right now and then there's the building this is what I have I can actually now tell my building go ahead and build and upgrade so it tells me I need level two I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade so I, it's a current status but I can make it do things right same thing with research right here I can actually by double clicking on it start the research um, so vault management is required before so we're gonna go ahead uh, construction speed that's right Academy one so I don't have any Academy so I can't do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into military and what's the first uh, military research that we do here is it uh, I don't think it's infantry one intelligence report okay so we're gonna need intelligence report go ahead and get that started uh, what, what did it say train speed one training speed level one Academy 
So I need academy no matter what. So first thing I do want to do is build academy, right? So once that's over, see the castle wall is over. I'm going to go ahead and put, can I put up academy? Uh, I don't think I can. Okay. Well, I will show you how to do that later. But basically, um, we once it's set up, then we can actually go in here and double click or right click and start things or set buildings. Same thing with research. Uh, talents. I have two points. This is where you can actually set talents. So if I go into my castle, when I talk about talents, we're talking about this guy right here, right? So right here, I got one talent. So I would actually upgrade one. So you would actually go down and see what's possible and add these uh, talents up. Okay. Now let's look at next option. Yep. And then army, it shows you how many, how many army you have. You have castle wall, HP power. You have troops, 691 troops right now. I can actually train troops. It is training right now by itself. Uh, 20 troops in three minutes uh, But I can go ahead and change to whatever I need of course you would have to have the research done for any like tier twos threes and fours and fives Okay, so here I can craft traps if I want to Depending on what I want to I usually don't um, Now I can look at my infirmary and see how many I have I don't have any right now sanctuary There's none and then there's, you can see that it's been sheltered with the leader at this point. But I can make a recall from the shelter as well. And there it goes. Okay, so that's how you check the status. You can also check your mail through here. You can see it actually gave you um, mail. Here I can auto delete game mails. So you don't have to check it at all. And then prison uh, prevent shielding, which means basically if you know if you have an option where your setting is set to shield on an attack, this right here by clicking on that, if you're holding prisoners, then it won't shield. It will hold from uh, shielding. But if you have it off, and then it may actually shield when uh, somebody attacks, depending on the settings that you have. Same thing. You can also make it execute prisoners. And then also here, when you have prisoners ready to execute, you can actually um, execute them from the software as well. So you're basically looking at everything within your castle, but more in a table format version. And then you got your uh, Baron. I have not actually uh, messed with this at all. And then you have your hero stages. It tells you what was done uh, through your bot software. Okay, so that's basic uh, introduction again on all the top um, tiers or top, I guess, top level uh, menu items. Um, one thing, hero, you can also see the elite stages as well. So one thing you want to click on is settings, then you will actually get another sub layer of menu. And these are where you set your preferences for your castle. And each one of these I'll explain in different video for each individual tab. And it'll be short uh, video clips of those. But these uh, settings are very important when you're running your bot. Okay. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.